Hello, everybody. Just a few seconds of technical difficulty there, but it's me, Amazon John, and welcome to another Silly Safari Saturday. That's right. We're so thrilled to be back with you again here. And look, I've got more friends with me. Of course, you know, Wofford, your favorite Boston terror. Say hi, Wofford. Yeah, he's like, okay, we're live. I'm going to take a nap. And this is AD. See, we do listen to you now that we're on this live interactive network. We heard you last week. You were all asking, where's the Great Dane? Well, she had her nose down in some of this wonderful pro. But here she is. AD is a Great Dane. Okay, I'm going to be straight up with you. She's actually just a good Dane. We're working on great. That takes time. We're waiting for her to get out of her puppy phase. That should have been when she was two years old. She's almost four. But we're patient, aren't we, AD? <laughs> it's capital A, capital D, capital D, lowercase i. We named her AD. Because we do need friends. That's right. What's the word for the day? Network. Now I sound like Sesame Street. <laughs> hey, networks are what it's all about. So thanks for joining us again on this live network. Behind me, you can see the yellow-headed vulture. Yeah. Do you know why we call him a yellow-headed vulture? What color is his head? If you said yellow, you're right. Ding, ding, ding. See, it's fun to be interactive together on networks like this. And let's face this week from our wonderful governor. We are in this together. We have to have our networks, my friends. Just imagine, it was just one month ago when most of us weren't really worried about where our next paycheck was coming from. We weren't worried about our favorite places to meet for a hamburger or a scoop of ice cream. And yet here we are questions today. So yes, right there, out of my pocket, is the mouse. One of the questions you asked last week was, have I ever washed a mouse in my pocket? And the answer is, no. I don't do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe it's happened before. But here's Bubba. Now, what you need to know about feeding Bubba, he is a giant African bullfrog. He's called a pixie frog, but there's nothing pixie about him. He's what we call an ambush predator. I'll show you what that means. He eats a mouse once a week. So he's not just hungry today on Saturday, he's hangry. The pixie frog is one of the very few frogs on the planet with teeth. That's right, you do not want to get bit by this big of a frog. So I'm going to use my handy dandy tweezers. Are you ready at home? Okay, raise your hand if you want to watch Bubba eat. I do, yeah. I do. Woo. Raise your hand if you don't want to watch Bubba eat. No? Okay, close your eyes. <laughs> Because we're going to pretend that we are in Africa. Okay. Zippity doo da, zippity a. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine in our way. I try to make the mouse move back and forth because it kind of simulates him being in his puddle. See how his eyes on the top of his head there? Just waiting for something close by. Oh, did you see that? Oh. That was so close. Here we go. Something to come close by, and then oh, oh whoa! Oh, oh, come, on, come on, Bubba! I know don't you can do it. Food, <laughs> don't play with your food, she says. Here we go. One more. Third time's the charm. It's so good. That's okay. If he, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, if he doesn't eat the mouse, Ryan the lion has to. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm on it. I know. Hey, idea. this is why we call it live TV, right? Interactive networks. You can't make animals do what they don't want to do. We're thinking. Brian's We're ready. waiting. Brian's ready. I know. Maybe he's wondering, oh, where's no, my beverage? <laughs> Come on. Awkward. Hey, you know what? This is why we call it live right. interactive networks. Okay, the part of Bubba today is going to be played by Bubba Jr. Hey! Yay, second Bubba! Okay, wait a second. I hope I didn't just ruin it for some of you out there oh. in Facebook Live land because, yes, at Silly Safaris, we have more than one Bubba. You know, we've been in business almost 23 years now, so uh, not every Bubba lasts 23 years by the time he comes to live here. Spoiler alert. I know. Sorry. This is Bubba Jr., one of our many animal stars here. Let's see if he's hungry, too. Oh, uh, no. Okay, yeah. Think about it. I think they ordered it medium well. I think they did. <laughs> I would hate to have to send this back to the kitchen since we can't even uh, drive to our restaurant now. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Why do I... <laughs> Why do I feel like Geraldo Rivera after you opened up that? <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, well, okay. So for those of you that did not want to watch Bubba eat, you win! Yay! Yay! Everybody's no, a winner! 
<laughs> it's kind of sad when the mouse is your participation yeah. trophy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Hey, so now you know. It's uh, it's working with animals, my friends, and not everything always goes according to plan. But you know what we still plan to do? Keep playing games with you. That's all right. I'm just going to put this right back in my pocket. Maybe next Saturday we'll, uh, we'll, we'll try it again. But yeah, that's right. We're playing games because on our interactive networks now, we can do just that. Are you ready to play a game? It's the bestest game in all the land, and we've never, ever done it live. Are you ready for... Poopology! Poopology, starring your favorite poopologist, right. Ryan the Lion and Daisy Doodle. Hello, everybody. Hi. I'm Ryan the Lion. Hi to everybody out there in Facebook land. This is Daisy Doodle. Everybody say hi, Daisy Doodle. Hi, hi Daisy, Daisy Doodle. Doodle. Or for today's demonstration, Daisy Doodoo. Oh, because <laughs> we're playing hi. Poopology. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Now, if we are playing Poopology, we've got several samples of different poop that we find every day here on the farm. And we are going to uncover it. And I want you guys to type what you think it is and some good guesses. So we're going to start all the way over here to the right. Let's go. Oh, that is some interesting looking poop. What do we think, Daisy? What do we think that is? It looks like chocolate. Oh, chocolate chips. Oh, man. You look. And, and I know what you guys are all thinking out there in Facebook, Glenn. You are thinking, Ryan the Lion, I know poop. And I know that's rabbit poop. But I'm here to tell you, my friends, it is not rabbit poop. And if I only had some rabbit poop to Ryan, wait. I have some rabbit poop. In your... Oh, that was awkward. Oh, it was in her pocket. That is so disgusting. Look at that. That is rabbit poop. And if anybody knows Ryan the Lion, they know that I compare everything to food. So rabbit poop looks like cocoa puffs. Oh, and oh are... cocoa for cocoa puffs. <laughs> yeah. Cuckoo, you mean. You Cuckoo. Mean. Yeah. And, and they are not a sponsor yet. But anyways, so we're going to get rid of those cocoa puffs. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> rabbit poop that looks like cocoa puffs. Uh, anyways, so we are going to take a look at that. They, they do kind of look like rabbit poop because they are in that pellet shape right there so so we need to go ahead and, and pick up a, a sample and we're gonna pick it up we're gonna we're gonna touch it and it feels that it's kind of sticky we're gonna smell it and, and smell hey what's this oh. we're gonna we're gonna taste it and oh oh, yeah. oh. No, 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 I got it, I got it. Because you know what that tastes like? That tastes just like reindeer poop. And that is reindeer poop. Everybody who gets reindeer poop, you guys win a prize of a round of applause from us. All right. Woo we have some several reindeer right here on our farmer here. So as far as here's one of them, this is Finn. Everybody say hi, Finn. Hi, hi Finn. Finn. Well, we all know that this isn't Finn from our reindeer farm. This is Finn oh. from Disney's Frozen. Again, not a sponsor, but we do have several reindeer that have all these wonderful antlers. This is actually a reindeer antler from our main bull, Dart. And he grows these every single year. Pretty amazing that he, he's able to do that. He grows these every year. They shed them every single year. We have 13 reindeer here at Silly Safaris. And I know that a lot of you have seen them all out on winter time when we're going to celebrate Christmas or, or maybe we're, we're coming as a Sami reindeer herder. We have a wonderful time with the reindeer here. So, so that's reindeer poop. Yay. Yay, Yay. reindeer poop. All right, second one we're going to reveal. We're going to check it out. It is... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that is... That is a lot different than the reindeer poop. Let, let's compare the size. That is one absurd turn. Yeah. We have we have small little pellet shape and we have a great big solid shape right here. And and I know what this looks like. This looks like a tortoise. So so why don't we bring it out? This, solid. this is uh, oh, this is this is my friend Flash. Everybody say hi, Flash. Hi, hi Flash. Flash. And Flash, he is a tortoise and he made this. Put oh wait, Ryan. I think they're the same size, so I don't think Flash made this poop. You don't think that Flash made this poop? No. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. I have a Flash poop. This is a Flash turd right here. <laughs> Everybody say, hi, Flash's turd. Hi, Flash's turd. <laughs> We're no. not saying that. <laughs> no, no, it, it is a lot smaller. So, so I, I think we're on the right track with saying that this is a tortoise turd, but but we are going to see that a big tortoise poop needs a big tortoise. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. This is my friend Sherry. Everybody say hi, Sherry. Hi, hi Sherry. And, and I call her Sherry hi. because I used to call her, or what I thought was him, Gary. So then I found out that he was a girl. So this is now Sherry, not Gary. So everybody again, say hi, Sherry. Hi, 
Hi, Hi Sherry. Sherry. And Sherry is a big Salcutta tortoise. And as another word that they use to tell them is they are an African spur thighed tortoise because look I at see these the spurs. legs. They have these spurs that they are able to dig and they dig a big burrow underneath the ground so they can stay nice and cool. So we're gonna say goodbye to Sherry right now. So everybody say bye Sherry. Bye, bye Sherry. Sherry. Oh, she's waving to us. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, good. Oh, pull my back out now, I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> Third and final poo poo platter. <laughs> poo poo platter. Ooh, that's so good. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna reveal this last one. We're going to check it out in. Ha oh, Ooh. main event. Oh that's man, doesn't this really looks look like poop. This looks a little different, guys. Hey, what do you think it is out there in Facebook land? What do we think it is? It looks a little bit different. We can actually see little bitty hairs right in here. And check this out. I can even break this up a little bit, get a little bit into the bottom of it. Ugh. And oh my goodness. Look at this. Bones. I've got little bones right here. And maybe this is reminding you of something that you guys may have done in middle school or, oh, there's a little claw right there. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's getting a little awkward here, but. Yeah. Oh, there's some. Yeah, here's a shoulder blade, I think. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> this is probably reminding you of something that you might have done in your science class because this is actually not poop. This is an owl pellet. This is an owl pellet. And it, it didn't come out of poop. It, it, it's not poop because an owl, when it is, eating its food, it cannot digest the solid matter. Like like we have this jawbone right here, it cannot digest that. So instead of pooping it out, it has to spit it right back out, which sounds pretty gross, but I, yeah, yeah it is actually really <laughs> gross. So, but I wanted to introduce you to my friend that made this pellet because this is my friend all the way from Europe and Asia, this is my friend, Yay. Houdini. Ooh. Everybody Ooh. say hi Houdini. Hi Houdini. And Houdini is my Ooh. very special friend. He is an owl that I bring to a lot of my shows. So if you've seen a Ryan the Lion show, chances are that you've seen Houdini and he is wonderful, he is beautiful. He is a Eurasian eagle owl. Europe and Asia is where they're from and he's named after an eagle because he's so ginormous. So that's Houdini, and that's how we're gonna leave you guys today. And we're gonna pass it right back to Amazon John because he's got some more fun in store for you guys. So, so see you later, guys. Check yeah. out Amazon John. <laughs> really quick, Amazon John. Elizabeth wants to know how much does Sherry weigh? Sherry the tortoise weighs about thirty pounds and getting bigger oh, every whoa. day. That tortoise is the third largest continental land tortoise, so it could grow to be over hundreds, over three hundred pounds. It's a very big tortoise. How much do you think uh, who? Houdini weighs. Houdini. How much do you think? Does anybody friends. have any guesses? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. 30 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 100. So! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, do we have any guesses on there? We have guesses from 5 to 50 pounds. Whoa. 50 pounds, yes. 50 pounds is how much this weighs because I'm very <laughs> strong. Yeah, he's been working out at home, Courtney. Houdini only weighs 5 pounds. 5 pounds, that yeah. is crazy. Birds have to be very light in order to fly and stay in the air. And, and every day Houdini spits up an owl pellet. And, and maybe maybe on our next version of Poopology, we'll show you what comes out of Houdini's other end. But that's not really the magic and Park. that's probably happened at a soon as far as show. I bet it has. <laughs> yeah, and we promise uh, no animal would poop on you if we were to do a virtual birthday party. Woo! Those parties are poop free, but we can still play amazing friend games like this and meet some of our other silly safari stars. In fact, speaking of stars, it's time for Creature Feature. Woo! We got more biologists here in the fun room. Hey, Komodo Courtney, who do you have? I have her. She's a Kinkajou. Kinkajou, Ooh, not a fairy. not a Pikachu. Not a Pikachu. She is not a Pokemon. She is one of my favorite silly safari creatures because she's extra snuggly, and we both really love the same snack. We love gummy bears. I love gummy bears. Oh. I love honey bear. I love gummy bear. I'm sure you guys saw her. She was on indie style. She made her very own animal gram. And if you want a silly safari animal gram with Fern, you can have one for just $25. Fern thinks I smell like Bubba and a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that gummy bear it smells wrong. Yay, we love the Kinkachu. Always a crowd favorite. Hi. What do you have, Lemur Lauren? I, most people don't know, am a new mother to these beautiful baby boas. 
this is Boadacious, and this is Sir Squeeze a Lot. They are Sir black. Squeeze a Lot. Sir Squeeze a Lot. I like big bubbles, and I cannot lie. Those are oh never mind. <laughs> they are brother and sister boa constrictors. So they are a year old now, and they have a lot of growing to do. They can get up to eight feet long and. 33 pounds fully grown. That's amazing. Whoa, what are you feeding them now? The same mouse that Bubba was trying to eat. Yay, and as they get bigger, they're gonna have to eat bigger, bigger. mice and rats. So these guys do not have a sponsorship yet. So if anyone out there wants to sponsor Boadacious and Sir Squeeze a lot, you can go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Thanks so much. There are four levels of sponsorship here at Silly Safaris. So there's something fun for everybody. Hey, don't look now. That's Boa Bryce, but that's not a boa. No, this is my princess, Linda Blair, and she's an African pied crow. Now, about a year ago, she couldn't stand me. So I started talking to her, petting her, hand feeding her, and then I realized I was doing everything a mate does. So we've been together for a year now, and I was <laughs> going to take her to prom, but then all this happened. So. Now she and I just hang out here. And if you want to ship this relationship, you can sponsor her or get an animal gram of her and help support us and keep us going. <laughs> yeah, awesome. and you don't have to go to Africa to see an African pied crow. Nope. Well, an African pied crow, but you'll see a native crow right here on your next walk around the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll always see them on the side of the road. They like to eat dead animals. They do. Yeah. But you never see a dead crow. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Why? I'll tell you why. Because there's always another crow somewhere close by in the tree screaming, Car! 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 What? <laughs> Thanks, Mo and Bryce, with our favorite crow. So many great animals here at Silly Safari Station. And if you haven't had an animal gram delivered to somebody who you know and love, now's the time to do it. They're just $25. Who's ready? for another fun game. Now, kiddos at home, I want to get your fingers on those devices because now it's time to get interactive once again. We want to hear your questions. We want to hear your guesses because it's time for... Wheel of Treats! Woo! Everybody's favorite game. Look at Wofford, suddenly he's like, did you say treats? Treats? I love treats. <laughs> All right, the way, we game, the way we play is pick a number between one and 9 and we are going to see which number our contestant picks. There are special There's treats. treats in all those holes? That's right. There are. We have hidden maybe an apple. I like apples. Or maybe a grape. Ooh. Or maybe, oh, it's sticky. Ooh. Peanut butter with dog food. Ooh, Who doesn't lovely. like that? Or the bonus special one under here. Is <laughs> cookies. cookies. I love cookies. cookies. All right. So, are apples. you ready for our contestant? Yes. All right, contestant number one, the only one, come on down. Whoa. Whoa. I bet he loves treats. Do, 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 do. We have a vote for number nine. Da, 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 da. Abraham, okay, ready? Ready? All right. Drum roll. Abraham stinking. Got your numbers. Get your numbers, your numbers in there. Time. All right, here we go. Whoa. Go, go. All right, he's picking. Wait, Maybe. Oh, oh, he's oh, sniffing oh, around. Wait, he's going. Oh, to oh it's oh, number eight. eight. Oh, oh, right. You yeah, are right. It's number eight. Straight for the cookies every time. Look special, at those teeth. Special homemade cookies cooked by Lauren. Lauren, Lauren, your cookies are good enough to be eaten by a skunk. Whoa! <laughs> all, all that Girl Scout uh, years paid off, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Look right. at those teeth. You know, the skunk is a member of the, the mustelid family. They're, they're weasels. Skunk, mink, sable, ferret, my kid brother, all weasels. And look at his claws. He has big, long claws. Not like a cat that protects himself, but for digging up bugs and pulling off bark off of logs, and then he'll look for maybe a delicious treat like termites. I bet he does. Or worms. Worms. Or mm. bugs. Doesn't that sound delicious? Those bug me. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Jax loves the skunk. Jax is eight. Yeah, the skunks have always been traveling with us here at Silly Safari Shows. Look, he's he's going for another snack. Yeah. One skunk pick. What do you think he's going to get? Uh-oh. Skunks don't have a great uh, sense of eyesight, you know, coming around at night. And they're diggers, so their eyes are usually closed as they're digging around the ground. They don't want to get dirt in their eyes. But look at the size of that nose. Number one. 
Yay! Today we studied number two, and now you're watching the skunk eat the number one treat. Ooh, what was that one? That was the dog food with peanut butter. Oh, dog food with peanut butter, yeah. And the, he's an omnivore, so he likes all of these different fruits. Whoa, and whoa. And I don't have any vegetables in Auntie here. Cat, you're using awful big words. Omnivore means what? He eats everything. Everything. So, yeah, I don't know if you want to do it, but Kinda if like you still right have now. that meal. Oh, wow, okay. He might like it. Hey, Kristen just asked us the question, how come he's not spraying? He has been officially de-stinkified. Oh, I can't say that about my kid brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, his stinker was taken out a long time ago. So right now he's, he, what do you think? What kind of smells? Mm, like like, like an old president? <laughs> <laughs> like Febreze, his brother Lysol and Febreze. What was the number nine? <laughs> number nine? Oh, that's the apple. That was, oh, yeah. he went for the Was that the apple? So yeah. He, a wide he was all the treats. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. skunks well, love healthy love snacks too. The buffet. Hey, an apple a day keeps the virus away. <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, Maybe not. Yeah. <laughs> But staying healthy and, 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 and staying together, connected, learning, just like we are today, that's what it's all about. You see, we know it's a new day. It's a new day for everyone. But it's the same mission here at Silly Safaris. All we want to do is perform, and we want to play. And fun games like this, we could be doing for you. Don't have to worry if we can't see you for your birthday party. That time will come again, but we could see you over interactive networks, just like we're doing today. We could see you uh, at at church, like we've talked about before. And and I know somebody had asked Kristen wanted to know about the the animal gram. They'll, those are so simple. You can email us. You can uh, message us on Facebook, and we will get you the form. It's just a matter of filling it out and getting back to us. Remember, an animal gram is only twenty-five dollars. And little Abraham stinking here could be the one talking to Nana in the nursing home, saying, "We miss you, Nana. It's stinking times that we have here, but we'll get together very, very soon." Because here at Silly Stories, we just want to stay connected. We're in the network. Hey, Lemur Levi has his hand up. Hey, Amazon John, Jin wants to know, are skunks and raccoons related? Are skunks and raccoons related? The answer is no, they're not. Now, they live in the same place. They're neighbors, right? They're part of that fun uh, forest network of uh, animals. But no, ra raccoons are, the, the raccoon group is the group that scientists put animals in that they don't know what to do with. Like our Kawadamundi, Chaos. We don't even know what to do with Chaos. The Kinkachu is a member of the raccoon family. And of course, Diablo, the South American crab-eating raccoon. Woo! He's a raccoon. <laughs> These guys are weasels. So you're thinking of ferret, mink, otter, skunks, badger. They're all weasels. Great question, though. Thanks for asking. Thanks for asking. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you again on another Silly Sorry Saturday soon. But until then... Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected on our networks, and above all else, stay, stay silly! silly!